Well, I don't know about you guys, but if my walls could talk, I think they would say something like, How many times have I told you kids no axe throwing in the house? I'm getting sick of this. So if your wall starts looking like this and you've got some large holes, I'm gonna show you today how to quickly repair those holes in a way that looks great. So it's a quick repair that looks awesome, trust me. Now this will work for someone who doesn't even have a lot of experience working with drywall. So let me show you what you need to complete this project. First off, you need a keyhole saw, something like this. It doesn't have to be exact like this. Any kind of saw where you can penetrate through and cut out a shape will be helpful. Next, you're gonna need a box knife. Of course, you're gonna need a small putty knife, some putty, some wall putty. I've got this stuff right here, this is called Spackling paste, this will work fine. You're also going to need a ruler, a straight edge, basically it doesn't have to be a ruler, just a straight edge so you can draw really straight lines. And lastly, this is gonna surprise you, but you need a good book that's large enough to cover that hole. So I'm recommending this right here. And also this comes in helpful if you're waiting for your paint to dry. All right guys, so the last thing you're gonna need to complete this project is a piece of sheetrock to fill that hole. Now the sheetrock that I got right here is half inch thick, which is the standard size. And make sure the piece you buy is just a little larger than your damage on your wall. I did pick up the sheetrock from Amazon, so I'll have a link to this right down below, as well as to all the other tools we're gonna use in this project. Anyway, let's get to repairing this large crater of a hole. All right guys, so let's get to work. The first thing is to remove all these loose pieces so we've got a nice flat area that we're working with. So for step two, this is where our handy dandy book comes into play. Place it over the damaged area. Let's get a feel of where that is. It's like there to there. Just place it right over it so you don't have any more damage showing and then get a Sharpie and go around the edge of the book. Try not to move it too much. So that's our square, which is good. You can see we've got all of our damage contained in that square, so we're looking good. So next up, we're using this keyhole saw. We're gonna cut out that square. So just insert it. And go right along that line. That's looking pretty good now. Nice and wide open. So the next thing you're gonna do is get your piece of sheetrock that you purchased. The white side is generally the side that faces inside the room. So that's the surface that you paint and you face. The brown side is a side that goes into the wall. So we want it brown side up for this step. So for all those people who never found a good use for books, here we are using one again. I wanna set it about an inch and a half off each side of the corner. Don't put it right in the corner like this. Offset it a little bit so you have some sheetrock on all sides. Once you've got it in your spot, carefully trace out the shape of the book again, just like this. So next up, get a square and put it on the side of the sheetrock and draw a line going this way. Again, about an inch and a half from the book over here. Doesn't have to be perfectly square as long as you've got some edge there. Okay, and let's finish that up. It can be an inch and a half all the way up to two inches, doesn't matter, as long as you've got some extra space there. So that's what it looks like. So for this next step, make sure your box knife has a brand new sharp blade in it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and score a line from the top of the sheetrock all the way to the bottom. Watch your fingers coming through there, all the way through. So let's pick up the sheetrock, turn it around, give it a little chop right there, get your box knife again, score it on the other side, and you're good. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side of the piece we want, straight edge, 
turn it over, a little whack, fold it, and right in that crease with your box knife, just cut that. Now we've got our piece cut out. So now here comes the fun stuff. Let's lay our straight edge just on the inside of this line, the shape of our book here. Just don't put it right on top of it, back it out just a little bit. We want it to be a little looser than the hole. Hold it again, come along and score right along there. Let's do it again. We're going a little deeper this time, so we get a nice clean break. Okay, rotate it around and let's do it on this side. Now let's turn this go to the hole. One, two, round again, on this side. One, two, and lastly, on this side right here. One, two. Now you can score it more than that if you think it's necessary, but I think we're okay. So now we're gonna flip it over again and just really gently, wherever we wherever we put that mark with the with the knife on this side, we're gonna try to just give it a little bit of a strike like that. You can see, okay? That's that side. Let's do down here. Karate chop. Beautiful. Okay, now on this side. Great. And lastly, over here. Perfect. Okay. So now we've got them all like that. Now what we're gonna do is try to gently pull away the sheetrock but leave the paper just like that. See how perfect that is? Let me show you in this corner right here how that works. You just loosen it up a little bit and you peel it out. So you've got the paper on there, but the bulk of the sheetrock is, the material of the sheetrock is removed. Here we go on this side, let's break it. And out it comes, perfect. Let's see if we can go four, four, four here. Okay, break it and remove it. Perfect. So now that we've removed the sheetrock from our four corners, all we've got left is the front paper. We actually have to remove these other four full sides right here. So that's gonna take a little bit more effort. Again, the scoring did seem to help me, so I'll do that. Pick it up. Bend it over, break it. Break it, just a little bit of pressure. That piece is gonna drop right off right already, I can see it. It's off. It's off. It's off. Okay, perfect. So that's what it looks like from the front, like that. Give these edges or flanges almost now, and that's how it looks like on that side. So let's go and pre fit it into the hole and see how it looks. All right, guys, so now it's the moment of truth. Let's see if my new plug fits into the hole. All right. Ah, we're there, guys. We are all set. Feels nice and snug. You can see. Even if I give it a little push, it won't go through, but it's fitting nicely in there. So if you had a successful test fit of your new piece, you're good to go. Just put a little mud around the edge of the hole you created here. It doesn't have to be too heavy, just like that. Okay, so on this side, okay. Remember your, your piece is going down an inch and a half, so you can go that far. Don't worry, you won't do it. It'll come in helpful in any case, just like that. So now let's put some spackle on the piece you just made. Again, just like this around the edge. Don't put too much in here. All right. That looks pretty satisfactory. It's covered. So now let's get our piece. Put it in the hole where we need to go. Like so. Hang on a second. Okay. Okay. Looking good. Don't push it too far back. Once we get it on there, just go along. Squeeze it out. Look at that. Look at that, boys and girls. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Now we're getting good. Now we're getting good. Just go along all the sides before you worry about the details. Yeah. So there's my repaired wall, guys, and it is hard to argue with these results. Now, my spackle work is not perfect. I'll give you that. Some of you might pick up on that, but overall, this video wasn't really about that. Now, there are a bunch of hacks online on how to repair sheetrock, and I think at the end of the day, they're exactly that. They're hacks. They're not as clean as this. They're not as easy as this, and I don't even think they're as strong as this. Check this out from the backside here, guys. Boom, boom, boom. That is like brand new sheetrock. So guys, we got a clean wall here. We fixed it. We fixed our gaping hole. And overall, I think we did some good stuff. So I'm going to do something a little different. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. I'm going to put my fist through that wall. Good thing I know how to repair it.